That feeling of not being good enough can be super stressful and really scary. So I wanna share with you my secrets to being good enough as a writer and as a creative entrepreneur. The first secret to feeling good enough is to really get clear about where you're trying to fit in. This has been such a personal experience of mine. I spent so much of my life trying to fit into the wrong places and therefore never feeling like I was good enough to be there. So once we start to get clear about where we're trying to fit in and why that's causing us to not feel good enough, we can then decide, oh, well, where do I wanna fit in that I do feel good enough to fit in? So for me, that really helped me understand how to create a unique space and a unique club and really find where I felt that I fit. And that's really helped me as a writer, as a creative. It's what I, it's what I follow when I make the videos on this channel, they're about me, they're about what's important to me. It's the principles that I follow with my community on Facebook. So it's about creating a space where you feel comfortable, where you feel that you do fit. And so there's no sense of having to be something that you're not. You realize that you're good enough just the way that you are. So that's the philosophy of this channel. It's the philosophy of my community on Facebook. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then you might want to consider doing so. If you feel that you really want to have a space that you feel safe, that your creativity is feeling nurtured and also the community on Facebook as well. There's a link just below. The second secret is to ask yourself, what am I blaming myself for? So again, sometimes we can blame ourselves for not being good enough at a certain thing. And here we're really focusing on what we don't have. And we're basically defining ourselves by a lack or by falling short. So for example, I used to blame myself for not being particularly good in large social situations. And so I would always feel like I wasn't good enough. But when I switched and I started to inquire, how do I want to define myself? That's when I realized that when I started to define myself as being really great one-on-one, -on -one, then I was able to really focus on that. And suddenly it wasn't, oh, I'm not good enough to be in a social situation. It's, oh, I'm good enough to be in a situation where I'm one-on-one -on -one with someone. So get really clear, how are you blaming yourself and how instead can you follow the secret of defining yourself and defining what you are good at and really acknowledge that that's your gift, that that's your uniqueness about you. So for me, I love the fact that I'm great one-on-one -on -one. and sometimes people say, oh, but don't you find that challenging when you're thinking about, you know, how do you grow an audience? Because when you want to grow an audience, surely if you go one by one, that audience is going to grow really slowly. But no, for me, I find that one-on-one -on -one interaction, it makes for me having a really solid tribe or audience. It's really helped me grow my business at a pace that feels comfortable. So I feel like I have a really intimate relationship with my clients and with my subscribers and with my followers. So where are you blaming yourself and how can you follow the secret of seeking to define yourself in a way that shows you where you are good enough? <coughs> Excuse me. The Third secret, again, a real game changer for me, is to understand that you can forgive your mistakes. Sometimes we can really focus on the mistakes that we've made and we can think, oh, I'm just not good enough. So for example, I had a, a mistake early on in my career, I had a wonderful meeting with a very reputable agent in London and I made the mistake of turning up to that meeting a week early. And I had focused on that mistake for so long and I used to blame myself for not being good enough at being able to focus, at being able to turn up to places on time. And the moment that I for myself worked with a coach on this area and got really clear about the mistakes that I wasn't forgiving, it really helped me to just let that past go and bring the power of forgiveness into my heart. And then with that feeling, with that sense of forgiveness just came a real strength. There's such a strength in being able to forgive yourself. And then you sort of realize, wow, if I'm good enough to forgive myself, that means I'm a really strong person. So forgiving those mistakes really helps you cultivate that self-belief and really helps you feel that you are good enough. 
good enough to forgive. It's such an empowering frame of mind. And then the fourth area, the fourth secret that I have found really important is to understand that those struggles that you go through, that they actually teach you something. So again, we can be struggling with something, we can be struggling with learning a new task, we can be struggling with a situation, and we can jump to the conclusion that we're not good enough. But if we switch and we follow the secret of this, this struggle or this challenge is teaching me something, then we understand that we have an opportunity to improve and become good at something. So for example, I used to really struggle with networking. I used to think, oh, I'm not, I'm not good enough to promote myself, I'm not good enough to network work. But when I really got clear that a struggle is an opportunity to learn, then I realized, oh, actually I can learn to become good at networking. I can learn to become good enough at networking. And for me now, it's an area of my business that I really enjoy because it's an area that I understand that I can get better at every single day and I can really hone that skill. So to really recognize that those struggles are an opportunity to build your skill, to really improve rather than a sign that you're just not good enough and you never will be. So there we go folks, really hope that these four secrets are going to help you step into that place where you really feel that you are good enough, that you really get to deserve to be exactly who you are, that you really understand that you've got a pure gift within you that you can cultivate hopefully with the videos on this channel, in my Facebook community, and in your own life and in your practice and experience. You are good enough right now and every day, or every day onward, you can continue to improve, and you can continue to grow your self-belief. Hope you found this one useful. Really looking forward to seeing you in the next video. I will be on the sofa as always next Monday. Take care till then.